I'm Nicole Hacko with Royal LePage Top Producers. So for our River Park South Local Business of the Week, I thought it would be a good idea to interview Marcus Chambers. Um, so can you tell me a little bit about maybe what we can do to support local businesses? Well, the biggest uh, thing we can do to support local business is to patronize them in terms of buying product or service, mm -hmm. uh, promoting them uh, to your friends, to your relatives, uh, on the good service that you receive from the businesses in River Park South. Okay, so now as our city councillor, what can you do to help our local businesses and how can we help it thrive? Well, uh, I'm always a supporter of small business, whether it's by uh, shopping there myself or, uh, again, uh, sharing my experiences that I've had with local business. Uh, I know that making the climate for businesses here to grow and thrive is something that is important here at City Hall that we want to do, and our mayor is very committed to helping small businesses uh, grow and provide job opportunities for our kids and, uh, and helping our economy grow. So for myself, it's, you know, those supportive measures, whether it's, um, you know, linking and networking businesses with other businesses and supporting those efforts, uh, those are the things that I can do to help here at City Hall. Okay, and now you had mentioned there's possibly like different funding and um, different support systems that like a new business can reach out to and utilize as well. Absolutely, I would recommend that uh, if you're contemplating starting a new business, uh, go on the City of Winnipeg BizPal site and it will provide you with opportunities to review all the licensing and permits uh, that are required to start a new business. Um, you know, there's a lot of red tape that's involved and I think one of the things that City Hall has done is work to reduce the red tape, uh, the barriers that, you know, will frustrate uh, individuals who want to start a new business. So we've done that actively to reduce the red tape, reduce the amount of uh, paperwork that's done to make it much more seamless and to also provide guidance for new businesses that want to start here in the city. We want to be as supportive as possible. For sure. And now, like we had talked a little bit about like maybe obstacles that businesses are facing, right, when they're starting. So what are some of those other obstacles? Like I know you mentioned like red tape and things like that, but what are the other obstacles that you notice businesses are facing as they're trying to start up? Well, it's always good to do a market analysis of the business that you want to be operating uh, and ensuring that uh, there is, uh, you know, opportunities for your businesses to grow. Uh, human resources is one of the greatest challenges for new businesses. If you're a restaurant trying to hire a cook, especially if it's an ethnic themed type restaurant and you want to uh, you know, have a cook that is specializes in a, in a specific cuisine, uh, you may not find that locally. So it, that is a barrier or a challenge to starting your business or keeping your business growing. Um, I know that my previous time with the provincial government, I was with the provincial nominee program, and these are some of the opportunities that I had to help businesses grow, was to find the right talent that they needed to keep their businesses going. So again, those opportunities to work with the provincial government as well as the city government to help your business and to uh, provide opportunities, um, you know, to hire our, our kids that uh, you know, kids nowadays, they want the cushy jobs. Mm -hmm. uh, my, my kids are, are, are probably uh, you know, no different in that regard. Um, but you know, really, when I grew up, my first job was with McDonald's. And uh, yeah. you know, I was sweeping floors and, and flipping burgers. And it's led me to where I am today. And so uh, where we can get our kids out taking these jobs and building character that way, it's great. It's an opportunity for them to, to make a, you know, a, some pocket money and, uh, and to you know, get some real skills. Uh, and, and tapping into the newcomer market as well. There's a lot of uh, uh, new families that have come to Canada that uh, you can provide opportunities to, uh, to provide training, to provide that first Canadian experience. So these are opportunities that from a human resource standpoint, you can tap into and will help you build a business grow. Yeah, for sure. It helps the young ones and the newcomers and everybody to help build character, gain experience, and it helps your business to grow and, and thrive as well. Well, and there's the networking aspect of it as well. Mm -hmm. I know that uh, on a larger scale, a lot of the businesses that I dealt with, uh, whether we were traveling overseas to recruit workers, also use that as an opportunity to do trade. 
And, um, you know, I remember one time we were in Italy and we were working with a tiling company that at the end of it, uh, they recruited the workers that they needed, but also expand their business in terms of uh, purchasing uh, the materials like the tiling uh, that they now install here in homes in, in Winnipeg. So again, it was an opportunity for trade as well as the recruitment of the skills that they needed to keep their business going. That's awesome. And okay, so what other things can you think about that you'd like to say to our River Park South um, local businesses? Support local. There are some great restaurants in River Park South. There are some great services in River Park South. Uh, whether it's uh, uh, artisans that make crafts, whether it's uh, services where you're getting a massage or reflexology, uh, whether it's a restaurant uh, that is providing a specialized cuisine. There's some great businesses in River Park South and I highly recommend that you support them by uh, buying their service or buying their goods and uh, you know what, it's only going to make our community stronger. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Marcus. It's um, been my pleasure. I really appreciate it. And um, so this is our local business of the week video for this <laughs> week. Um, and we'll see you all soon, River Park South. And we did this all in one take. We did. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Thank you. Okay, take care. Take care.